Edison had produced the first um, commercial light bulb here at Menlo Park. And this is an example of one. Edison's uh, light bulb in 1880 used a bamboo filament that was carbonized. They were made on site at the lamp works. They actually called the light bulbs lamps at that time. Here we have some information about Edison's experimental electric railroad. We have an original Harper's Weekly talking about Edison's study of the distribution of electricity. And we have remnants of the rail and one of the railroad spikes. Here we have some different archaeological finds that were done on site. We have a broken crucible, we have a copper spoon, some copper wire, different pieces of uh, stone and labware that were used. Edison doesn't invent the generator or the dynamo, but he does make them much more efficient. Right over here we have some copper windings. And both of these poles from the bipolar Edison generator from 1882 have vast amounts of copper wrapped around them. Edison becomes known as the Wizard of Menlo Park with the invention of the phonograph. These are original Edison phonographs. These three in particular are over 115 years old and they all play. So these items did not have volume control, these three phonographs. So there's an old root expression, oh put a sock in it. And that's because gentlemen would take their socks off, roll them in a ball and put them inside the horn. This diamond disc phonograph is uh, actually one of the finest of this type. And uh, Edison actually incorporates a lot of new things. For example, the needle is a diamond. The Thomas Edison Center at Menlo Park is really excited about the rededication slated for October 24, 2015. The restoration of this 77-year-old Edison Memorial Tower has been something that the nonprofit has been working on with the state of New Jersey and the Township of Edison for many, many years. We welcome you to come to our, visit our site. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small video, and uh, please come and see us.